This is winter, these are wintergreen leaves um, that I'm going to make into a, an infused oil. Um, I harvested these wintergreen leaves a couple days ago. They dry very slowly. Um, now they don't dry very well, um, which is one of the reasons why I like to use them fresh. Um, as I've said before, making an infused oil, it's best often to use dried plants because infused oils um, are likely to mold on the surface whenever the, um, the surface of oil has plant matter on it, um, it's liable to mold. Um, it kind of depends on the plant. I'm still learning about which plants mold and which ones don't, but I've had great success with using, making fresh infused oil with the wintergreen. Um, and so I'm going to be doing that. Um, this oil will be available for folks who are interested in having some wintergreen oil. It's really wonderful for um, aches and pains um, for muscle stuff. Um, it's got some natural anti-inflammatory slash analgesic um, compounds, so it's reducing pain as well as reducing inflammation. Cooling. I say cooling and part of me like I'm like, oh, actually it feels like it's both cooling and warming. How can that be? Um, so I've used the wintergreen for rubs for, um, for achy muscles. Um, I'm going to put it into a blend this year that has wintergreen, cottonwood bud, um, um, sweet fern, mugwort, and maybe some pepper or some um, uh, prickly ash. Um, so to make the infused oil, I'm going to put it into my Vitamix with oil and turn it on and just let it blend and blend and blend. Um, and then I'm going to leave it out for several weeks. Usually mine end up going for a month. Um, and then I will press it out with this ricer. The ricer has a part that goes inside of it. Push the plant matter down and to squeeze it out. Um, you, ricers are um, used traditionally for um, for making lefsa. This is the piece that goes inside of here. Um, so I usually use a, musl a muslin uh, or cloth or cotton canvas bag so that the bag lets the plant matters put material out but sometimes I just use the ricer with a fine meshed um, meshed strainer and then that strains out the plant matter um, the bag usually does a better job of straining out plant matter um, but it's just it's more cleaning than uh, cleaning the other stuff so it's just a matter of how much cleaning I want to do. Um, so the ricer, there's, um, they make like plastic ricers for left side. I don't have, I, those ones are, are more likely to break. This isn't like le, um, potatoes, which, which is what these are for, which the potatoes strain out. This, um, there's a lot of mass that stays in there. So if it's um, plastic, it's more, it's liable to break. Um, so you'll have a lovely dark green infused oil after you let the wintergreen steep in olive oil for several weeks or months. And then um, you can use it for preparations or just to put on any sore spots. This year I put it in my sunscreen um, because it's cooling. Um, I think I might like I could I could do that again, but I feel like the winter green is better for using for um, for sore muscles and skin that needs to be um, cooled down. So it would also be really good for bug bites that are incredibly itchy. Um, and that's the winter green.